in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a downpipe. We've only got one in our catalogue and it's a strange shape so what we're going to do is create a downpipe uh, custom made to fit a building and to do that I'm going to use the 3D constructions. The 3D constructions tool is available only in the visual building professional and upwards that is the premium and the um, solar designer so first thing you'll note is the 3d construction tool is not highlighted that means we don't have a 3d window open so first of all we'll open a project one I prepared earlier and there's the project that I'm going to apply my drain pipe to here. I've now got a 3D window uh, available which means I can now select the construction tool. Select that and you'll notice I've now got some additional icons here. Uh, most importantly I've got a set of um, uh, basic shapes, primitives, I can extrude I can rotate solids, I can sweep solids, and I can subtract solids. I'm going to use the sweep solid to create this drain pipe. So I now need an end elevation view in order to show where I want my drain pipe. Um, I should use a guideline. And I'm going to have a end elevation view going from here into this direction. So, this new section view, click once, twice, and that's going to be my section view. So that's my section view. I want to get rid of the hidden line, so I right click and go to properties and select hidden line removal. That cleans up the view. I don't need the other two views just yet, so I can zoom in on this. And I'm going to have my drain pipe zoom out of it. It's coming from here, down here, down here. I'm going to use a guideline to set exactly where I want the drain pipe to be so I can get the size, size right. Um, so the centre will be a 2 cm two offset, then a 5 cm um, radius, so that's 7 cm. So, so let's set that to 0 0.07. So that is where my centre line of my um, drain pipe will be. I also want my drain pipe to be in the center of this. I don't want to switch the snap on, so I can place it exactly where I want rather than rely on the snap. And so that's my position of my drain pipe. I now create a line which I'm going to trace the drain pipe with and switch the snap back on the pipe going a bit into the ground. So there's the contour of the pipe. But first I must make sure that this is a single path. So right click it and say create contour. Note that the contour is now continuous on the three parts of the, the uh, line. I can now select my sweep solid Make sure I've got the select path contour selected. 
there's my drain pipe. Um, it's a little bit um, on the big side, so I right click it, select properties, and select the sweep solid, and I can change my um, profile. At the moment it's just a square profile. If I choose basic shapes and select 12 edges, because it's going to be round. And now I can change the size. Remember it is um, 0.1 by 0.1. And there's the drain pipe. Right click this and I can now save this to the catalogue in my folder. I shall create a new folder called um, down pipes I can now of course uh, view the uh, new drain pipe in the 3D view I think it's a good time to put some texture on that. Or material. Let's choose a material. Um, let's have a nice metal drain pipe. So I drag the material onto the drain pipe. And let's go into the 2D view. Perfect. At the moment the object is saved in the catalogue as a 3D Constructions object. It's not a standard object. To do that I select the object and say export 3D object and you can see now it's now been saved as a CYG object. Um, let's call that downpipe. And we're going to save that in our catalogue. Objects. Exterior. We've already got a folder with one drain pipe. And now we're going to have two drain pipes. Down pipe, not draining pipe. Down pipe. But here I want to say selected objects only. And we can go in here and you can now load your object as normal, dragging it. Of course it's easier to uh, place these objects in 2D mode. And we'll place that just there. So looking at that back in 3D view.
So, there we have our drain pipes.